Welcome back everyone to Super Liminal. Now, this hopefully will be the last episode. I am not leaving here until I wake up. Well, I'm already awake, but you know what I mean in the game. This is part four from last episode. As you remember, we were going through many portals. So let's continue. Oh. Okay, follow the arrows. Okay. carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight oh what the hell just happened okay um i'm outside Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just like everything else here. It's not real. Oh, 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 oh. I'm seeing what I want to see. I am becoming Neo from the Matrix. Oh. Okay, oh, whoa, where the frick did you come from? Um, door. Shut up. Oh. Hey? Okay, um... This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculp Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. states, states. Oh shit. Wonder what happens if I take this. Oh god, look at that. It's full on moving. Oh! Um. Soda machine, soda machine, help me. You can't help me anymore. Um. Help me. Help me. What is happening? What is... What the frick 
is this? Not an exit, thank you. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. What is happening? Female toads. I'm not gonna make him look. Oh! Where the frick am I now? Oh! Everything's in black and white. It's so peaceful here. Can't. Do I have to? What's on top of there? Perception is reality. Okay. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Uh, Jesus. Sorry to all your other religions, but Jesus Christ is usually my first expletive. When I see something I can't fully wrap my head around. It, it's so fluffy. It, it's so fluffy. Oh, uh, oh, I'll just use the room as a step. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. It's so cool. Light switch. Oh shit, did I just turn myself off? Oh, that, those are stairs. Wait. What is happening? I don't know, but it's so peaceful. It, it's so... It's so relaxing. Oh, oh, that's a bloody...
You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Just, isn't that why you came here? This is just watercolors. Oh. oh. Can. Okay, that's fu. Why is there two chess pieces here? <laughs> King to rook four. Wait, what? <gasps> the chess pieces guide the way. Chess pieces guide the way. <gasps> Fuck! Chess guides the way. So clever. So it can alter pathways. This is so relaxing. I'm not even joking right now. I was shitting myself in episode two and it, it, it's beautiful. It's utterly beautiful. Oh God, apologies to anyone who has struggles with this sort of thing. Okay. This is so trippy, but cool at the same time. Oh no, super apologies. What's happening? I'm genuinely in a state of relaxation. And... What's happening? I'm not even seeing anything normal anymore. Like, is my hand a hand? If not, what can it be? It's a different time. It's 8am. Is that door here again? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. What? You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But 
But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I'm waking up. It's going in reverse. Relaxation room. Your life will always be a struggle and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. So it was all an emotional test to make you become a better person. Part of you will say that none of this was real, so how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. That's it. I woke up. <laughs> I am so speechless right now. That game was fucking incredible. It had me from the word go. And it didn't let me go until the very end. It had fantastic pace. It scared the crap out of me. It confused me. And I know this is gonna sound really strange, but there, I am feeling genuinely satisfied that I got through that. Bra bravo. Bravo to the entire team who made this. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for making this game. Thank you so much. I'm... I'm, I'm speechless. Because I know this game was a tech demo. Uh, about three years back, but it wasn't called that. It was something like the Foundation or the Museum of Simulated or Simulation Technologies or Tech or something like that. I'll put it up on screen now, but that game was incredible. Top to bottom, front to back. Don't get me wrong, it was short, but... Oh my god. I loved it. I utterly loved it. Unity, FMOD Studios by Firelight Technologies, and Pillowcase. I applaud you. I applaud you so much on that, on this game. 
Thank you for dreaming. Thank you for making it. That was a roller coaster that I was not expecting. But anyway, I think that all that's left to say is I've been your host, Mr. Gage. I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have because whew, it's been wild. But anyway, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever it may well be. Bye.